Well today we are of course looking at the View Audio Technic H15W which in itself is not exactly new but has some new features. Let's start though with uh, some basic features of the speaker itself. Jason. Yeah, sure. So this is a, a two-way box. We've got a 15-inch low frequency driver and we've got a four-inch uh, beryllium high frequency driver. Now View Audio Technic quite well known for their beryllium high frequency drivers which they claim uh, give increased accuracy and presence in the top end which is more than just a claim it's true like that's the one thing you get with view you're going to get excellent high mid and and, and highs now what that detailed. translates is very detailed you are never going to have a problem getting a vocal to cut through on, mm. a, on a view box agreed or detailed in something like orchestral mixing now you might have to notch a little bit out here and there but that's much much preferable to trying to put back something that was never there in the first place yeah so yeah they're really really great for that kind of application now it's a powered box, it's uh, internally bi-amped, and it can, uh, the amp can produce uh, 2,400 watts at peak. Now, other things I love about the box is just, you know, views usual attention to detail and quality. I would say finish. it's almost an obsessive level of attention to <laughs> detail agree. and quality. Agree. It's very nicely put Now, together. the marketing material mentions the uh, slight glow underneath the uh, the black finish on, on some of the fixtures. Now, that seems a little funny, but until you see it in person, it's actually really, really beautiful. And, uh, you know, the handles are gorgeous and well-engineered and very sturdy and reassuring and nice nice to grip with a bit of a sort of a, a rough coating. It's reassuringly heavy too. Yeah, it's great. I mean, everything just, about just it. 40 kilos. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, a serious box. Yeah, uh, and I, I do like the integrated fly points as mm. well. Um, look, probably worth mentioning is that there, there's a new DSP card going into the, the current series, which uh, is Dante enabled. That's, mm. that's a huge yeah. piece of news. Um, so in addition to obviously analog and AES, we've now got Dante as an input option. Uh, in addition to that, there is a new version of System View out, um, which not only gives us things like the ability to control you know, multiple boxes and mutes and things like that in a group but uh, as well as delay we've now got um, parametric EQ mm. for every speaker mm. so what this means is you can essentially uh, run your power and your cat 5 and maybe an audio line if you want to back up we were talking about mm. this earlier um, run that stuff to each speaker in a system and then do all your system setup mm from within system view, you don't need a system processor. Yeah, I think that's um, completely feasible. The other thing I like about it is the actual parametric EQ itself. Uh, when we we're playing with it and having a listen to it, when we made changes, I found the parametric EQ to be quite musical, which mm. is not something I generally associate with parametric EQ or any other kind of EQ in a system processor. The it, was, it had a quality much more like some you know, of the more high quality channel strips you hear people ra raving about. The actual changes, you know, so giving a little bit more 100 hertz or 80 hertz or whatever, actually were, were musical. I really don't have much better language to describe it than that. It was immediately pleasing, mm. sort of what we did, and even the cuts and the boosts, uh, which is just not a quality I expect, especially coming out of a piece of software. Yeah, look, I think um, the, this, you know, I always like the H class, but mm. for, for me now there's there's a bit more flexibility and there's a few more options and there's still you know, the sound and the, the level of build quality that, that I've come to expect. So I think this is a win. Yeah, look, I can totally see a, a, an H system distributed through, let's say, you know, a Lyric Theatre, Stall Circle, Balcony. You've got control from a laptop. You've run Cat5 and power to it and, and off you go. I, I think it's a, a wonderful, wonderful box with the kind of quality that you need in that application. Yep, agreed. Thank you so much for watching Gearbox. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. We'll see you next time.